This little thing here, I never thought would sell for as much as it did. Hey YouTube, Rob Chesapeake Picker here. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Mercari. Thanks for checking out the channel today. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I got some things going out I want to show you. The first thing I got out here, I screwed up on this item. This is a set of Wizard of Oz figurines. If you've been watching the channel, you saw me push out some of these a few weeks ago uh, for $34.99. This one included the Black Wicked Witch of the West and uh, sold for $39.99, so it was one more piece. Piece. But how I screwed up was when I put the listings up for the other one, I used the same picture. So even though that one said a, a lot of five figurines, I gave out six. So I gave this person that one then. Um, I, eBay, I emailed the uh, person that I screwed up, that I accidentally shipped out to that other pit, pick, uh, figure. Did they still want it? And I offered it at half price. So I offered them for 20 bucks for my mistake. Um, I didn't hear back from them. If I don't hear back from somebody usually within 16 hours, if it's at a decent time, and this was very shortly after they had purchased the item, I just go ahead and cancel that order. I don't know if that's necessarily the right thing to do um, because people can still leave you bad feedback and stuff, but I'd much rather cancel an order than get negative feedback saying item not as described as I shipped it out as is or missing my uh, shipping times and, and being in jeopardy of losing my top rated seller status. So I went ahead and canceled it. They got back to me several hours later and said, hey, I still want those things. So I relisted it for 20 bucks. I cropped out the picture that had the uh, the Wicked Witch in there and relisted it accurately. So this person can't ever say not as described. So made the buyer happy, got my money out of it. I have $10 invested into it. And with the 34 on the last one and the $20 on this one, I still made a good profit on them. This little thing here, I never thought would sell for as much as it did. So this is vintage Bachman N style N scale train. This thing was new in the package, but I mean, it's about this big. Um, it's just a little cheap plastic toy. Who knew? I put this up there based on sold comps. I put it for $46 with free shipping and it sold. So very, very good sale on that one. And again, I got nothing into these things when you figure out as much stuff as I got from this garage sale. If you guys have seen that video, make sure you check it out where I talk about that big haul. I got I laid out everything out on the floor and showed you all the stuff I got. I didn't get video at the sale, but I got a lot of stuff. So again, and this thing was tiny. This went out in just a little box. I didn't want to put a $46 sale in a padded envelope. It could have went in a padded envelope, but I did put it in a box. I think it went out in a six by six or six by four by four box. So again, this thing was small. Here's another item out of that uh, audio video, video haul that I made at the thrift store a few days ago. This is a Panasonic forehead VCR. Um, pretty good sold comps on this one. I put this up for $39.95 plus shipping and it sold. Got this hat here. This kind of been sitting in a little death pile for a while. I just hadn't got around to listing it. It's a Harley Davidson. It's a bit of an odd hat. I don't know if it's a woman's hat or whatever, but it's a little bit of a weird black and white hat here with free. I put it up for $19.99 with free shipping. I got an offer for $18 free shipping. I just went ahead and accepted it. So I would consider this item a bolo right now, but I guess this depends on your own perspective on whether or not you pick it up. Um, the, the Washington Redskins have announced that they're changing the team name and now out of the woodwork, everybody's collecting Redskins stuff. I've had Redskins stuff sitting in my store. I live in Chesapeake, Virginia. We consider, um, we consider the Washington teams our home teams. I don't know if I consider something that's three and a half hours away my home team, but that's what we root for down here. That's what they root for down here. I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, Cleveland fan all the way, but hey, so that stuff is very readily available to me here for the most part. Um, I'm see, I see it all the time. I'd stop picking it up because none of my Redskin stuff was moving, maybe because the team sucked for a while. But now that the team's going away, everybody's coming out of the woodwork and they want the collectible stuff. So everything I had, I sold three shirts last week, all in about a day and a half. Um, for more money than I had them listed originally. I raised the price on two of them and they both went out. So I picked up three hats at the thrift store and this is the first one going out. I spent a little bit more on them than I might've originally spent on a hat. They were like 
$3.98 and $4.98 for these hats, but I knew they'd move. Uh, this is a basic run-of-the-mill hat. This isn't any particular great brand, but it had the nice Redskins logo on it. So for $20 with free shipping. This one I didn't really raise the price on because it was a Nike dry fit, but it is a Redskins Nike dry fit shirt. $20 free shipping on Mercari. I got about two bucks into it and you're gonna see a pattern here in, in some of these sales in this video. Washington Redskins shirt, big logo here. The only reason this shirt wasn't listed for a lot more was because this was like a medium shirt. Um, typically your large, extra larges and stuff will go for a lot more money. Medium is kind of that cutoff to make pretty good money on, on clothing, at least for men's clothing in my experience but I did raise the price on this. It went out for $20, and this was on Mercari with free shipping as well. Another Mercari sales is a GMC Denali pickup truck. This is a like a plastic model type uh, vehicle. It's not die cast, but kind of looks like it. I sold several of these that were retail arbitrage. I got anywhere from three to $6 into it. This one sold for $30 with free shipping. It just makes it into a first class box. I put a little bubble wrap around it, goes into a 12 by six by six box, and that makes it out for about 15 and a half ounces, and it still goes out for about $5. Another Redskins item here. This is another hat that I picked up. This, this one's a Reebok brand, but I don't really think that matters right now. I think it's just about the collectability of these items. Another $20 with free shipping. Again, I have three to $4 into this one. This next item is from my buddy Chris. He gave me a whole bunch of audio visual, video game stuff, everything to, to list for him. This is an Outlaw preamp. I don't even know what a preamp is. Again, great thing about re reselling. I, I don't care what it is. I'm just selling it. I know it works. Um, I had this up for $300 with plus shipping. It was up for a while, had a ton of watchers. Um, never got any offers or anything. I didn't have best offers, but I never really got any messages on it. Um, and I had the only one on eBay. So the fact that I had my price at 300, I had a ton of watchers and no activity, told me maybe I was a little bit overpriced. I priced it high initially because I did have so many, but it wasn't really moving. So I did drop the price to 275 with best offers. I got an offer for 250 and I went ahead and took it. And we, me and Chris, we split this 50-50 after fees. So $125 minus fees, pretty decent on there. You guys, that is all for today. Thanks for checking out the channel. Please remember, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.